Hey, what's up guys? Andrew Extremist here from AndrewExtremist.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unroot your Galaxy S3 from your Galaxy S3 using mobile Odin application from Play Store, which is developed by Chainfire, who also developed Super SU or Super User. And uh, let's go ahead and get to this process. Now, there are two versions of this application. There's one version which is Lite from XDA.com. I will have a link in description, but I'm not going to go in detail how to use that because it's I don't know. I have the paid version because I would love to pay developers who gets me or who makes my life easier. So I have paid five bucks for this application before and I'm going to use this again to unroot my phone from my Galaxy S3. Now, when you open up, it's going to ask you for Super SU permission and it's going to start downloading this file, which is quite large, but it's going to be done depend fast depending on your Wi-Fi connection now the light version as I said is quite difficult because you need to manually download all these things I if I'm if I'm correct and uh, if you would buy this application once you can use it on your Galaxy S4 S2 Note 2 Note or any other Samsung phones you get or any other phones that that supports mobile audience you can use application widely on different phones so that's why I have paid version and it's already done 62%. So I'm just going to let it sit and finish the download while you watch this video. Now, it's easiest way to unroot it if you are selling your phone on the spot. You need to unroot and uh, factory set your phone or you are in the AT&T corporate store where you need to exchange your phone. You can unroot it right away and not let them know that you rooted before. So after this file is finished, we can start flexing. I already follow him in Google Plus and Twitter, so I don't need to. I tested this application for, not this one, but the triangle application, which helps you to uh, disable the flash counter or binary counter on your phone. I have a video on that too, so make sure you reset your binary counter before doing this, because if you don't, then they might be able to tell, because if your AT&T rep is smarter, he can tell that you rooted if you triggered your binary count. Now I have a video annotated right here somewhere. So check out that video as well. Now we're going to go ahead and use this application. As I said before, make sure you download all the files for your phone from the link below where I'm going to have different files for your different oops, models. Now I'm going to press open file. I'm going to press internal because that's where I have my stuff. And here is the folder. I'm gonna select the thousand megabytes folder or, or file that has kernel, recovery, system, cache, and modem in there. So these are the things that comes in. Press OK. And all your logs right here are filled up. Scroll down, make sure enable every root will be disabled. Otherwise, you will root your phone again. So you will have to go through this process again. Make sure that is disabled. And now we can go down and press flash firmware. Now continue. Make sure before you press this continue button, back up all your data. So if it gets wiped, you don't have to worry about it. That's what I did. I really don't have anything put on this phone. So I'm just going to press continue. And if you want to learn how to back up, you can always go ahead and click on that little Android guy where you're going to have a video on how to back up your Galaxy S3 from my channel. Now I'm going to press check md5 because if the file is broken it might soft break your phone and it's kind of bad because you're going to have to use your windows computer in order to unroot the phone again so make sure you check the md5 file check because it it is a safe process and mostly developers recommend this now once it's done it's going to go ahead and boot into recovery itself which is going to be their own mobile odin recovery and it's going to start flashing the files. So right there, it's already started flashing the files. And if you can see on the process bar down below, oops, that's the log and that's the process bar right there. It's going to take quite a while depending on how big your file is for your phone, let's say. Mostly touch files are big as you see mine is thousand thousand gigabytes 
or oh shoot thousand megabytes not gigabytes but i'll be back when this is done flashing as you can see the system flashing is done now it's flashing modem so modem will be resetted depending on uh, whichever one comes with your files now this will reboot your phone and hopefully we will boot into the fresh stack in our factory reset if i may and if it does not boot up then you might have to factory reset your galaxy s3 which is done in my another video where i show you how to factory reset and unroot your phone now as you can see it's booting up correctly or as of right now i don't see any pro problems in booting up once you see that those backlights right here that's when you know for a fact that your galaxy s3 is perfectly stable and healthy to boot in otherwise you might be into soft boots which is another way to say that your phone just got messed up and you're gonna have to factory reset now if it if you don't have to factory reset all your data will be there and nothing will be wiped and as always guys thank you for watching keep watching the videos liking the videos and if it helped you go ahead and share with your friends or share it somewhere where all the s3 people who owns it gonna know more about this video or about this application and this unroot method as always guys Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next day. This phone will boot up. And once it boots up, I will shut this video off because I know I've been talking a lot and it's not even related to this video. But let's see if it boots up. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to factory reset. I'm just gonna show you how to do that as well because I don't want you to be confused and gonna what I don't want you to go ahead and watch another video on how to factory set your galaxy s3 that's why i'm going to cover all that in one video so i'm going to give it another 30 seconds and if it doesn't boot in we can factory set this phone now i recommend you guys to give like five minutes five or so minutes because you just flashed new rom and full system which is going to take quite a while to set up that's why i recommend you guys to t let it sit for five minutes i know it's gonna boot off it just takes time but i'm gonna show you how to uh do factory reset if your phone does not boot up correctly afterwards so we're going to go ahead and press volume down or not volume down that will boot you into down no more but volume up power and home button now keep pressing all three buttons As you can see the phone turned off again keep pressing the button let go and press it again first vibrate, let go the power button second vibrate you will see that screen where it says samsung and it will say on the top reboot recovery and you'll be into stock 3e recovery right there and here we go this is what you will see in your stock recovery let me just focus correctly and you're going to use volume rockers to scroll down and you're going to go to wipe data factory reset press power button to select volume down to scroll down and press yes you should see all your log right here as my finger shows you and once you're done doing this and once your phone wiped off it will be fast reboot and that's about it that's how you factory reset i'm gonna also wipe the cache partition as well so none of my application data from previous rom comes into this one and then press power button to reboot the phone i'm just gonna zoom out right here and you will see the phone boot up perfectly fine after doing this process Again, this is the AT&T version. That's where the stock boot emission is back. If you have bad version, all the bell tell us. And depending on your version, all your all your all your uh, bloatware will be back. That's what I'm trying to say. But keep missing the word bloatware. 
and here we go your phone is booting up as you can see right here all the both of the soft lights are up and it will take more, less than 10 seconds to get you the home screen oh it's taking longer than that but it will get you to your home screen i know kind of bored doing this video i don't know why i need to do warranty exchange on my s3 it's hitting up a lot and that's why i made this video we do have a giveaway going on for s view case for a galaxy s4 so make sure to enter for that giveaway if you have s4 i will have link for that for that in the description or in right on the android as well and as you can see the phone did boot I'm just gonna skip through everything. And there you go, that's the that's how your phone comes in when you buy it. All this bull crap that ATT puts it in for you. There you go, all the boot blower is back and there is no SU if you can see, there is no super SU or any root application. And this is how you unroot your Galaxy S3 from your Galaxy S3 and un and factory reset it too. And finally, thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.